What's going on everybody? This is Phil from MDC. Today I was lucky, lucky enough that I found a set of the new Dutchland design. And I'm really, really stoked about this guys because there's some castings that uh, I'm really, really glad to see in here. I didn't manage to get the chase, but I will get it eventually. And I decided to open them up anyways, okay, uh, even though I don't have the chase, I'll open up the chase when I do get it uh, on a different video, that's all. And uh, yeah, starting with number one here, we have the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, which I believe this was supposed to be the first release of it, uh, brand new casting, but they released it in the, um, not pop culture, retro entertainment, uh, it got released there first, I believe. So... It's not a new casting, technically, but I think it is a new casting. All right. So, cool enough. We have that. We have the Audi S4 Quattro, which is definitely not a new casting, but it is only the second release of this casting in premium. And uh, it looks awesome with chrome mags, which pretty stoked about getting that guy open. Third on the list, we have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which I'm very stoked about opening up. And to me, it looks like they've changed this casting a bit. Uh, they've, they've done some work on it, I believe. Not 100% sure, but if I look on my wall, it looks like they've done some things to it that were not on this car before. Anyways, we're going to open that up. Maybe we'll take a look at some other ones and see. This one I'm really stoked about, guys, is the uh, 2012 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series. Which always was kind of funny to me because it looks pretty red to me. But anyway, these 10-spoke chrome look really, really nice on it. Anyway, we're going to get it open, take a close look at that. And last but not least, we have a second addition to the DTM Touring Car. And it is the 1994 AMG Mercedes C-Class. And this one just looks awesome as well, guys. Looks like it's been wrapped in, uh, in DTM livery, which is pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, so there. Yeah. That's that. We've got the five car set and we're going to crack it all open and we're going to take a close look, guys. All right. So let's set up the trusty turntable and let's get down and dirty and get right into these. All right. So, of course, guys, we're going to do exactly what I always do. And we're going to start off with number one and we're going to shoot straight down to number five. All right. So number one is the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. And we'll get this guy cracked open. Want to keep the cards, guys, because actually at the end of the video, I'm going to have to record these cards in my in my computer in the list. So I don't want to scratch out the name and number. There we go. Very, very nice, this truck, guys. Beautifully done. It looks like I've got a little bit of paint missing on the mag. And, yeah, we're missing a bit of paint on the mag there, guys. Shame. Lucky Hot Wheels I display this way. And it's looking pretty good. But this is a very solid casting, guys. It has, and it actually has an interior. If you look inside, the seats and everything are inside. I don't know if you can see it or not. I doubt it. But it actually does have an interior, guys. Okay. Very heavy casting. So we have a metal base, metal body. And we have the rubber wheels. And the truck looks pretty awesome. Now, scale-wise, I don't know if it's scaled 100% right or not. To me, it looks a little bit... looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little bit thin. But then again, I think this truck... If you see it on the streets, I think it's actually a little bit thin anyway. So, it may be scaled really well, this, actually. But the detail is great. That spare tire and the ladder just look awesome. Did we get a rubber tire or plastic? We did get plastic, yeah. We got plastic. 
Still a beautiful looking truck. Really well done. Love the color. The color is awesome. Black hood. Side mirrors, guys. I mean, this is just fantastic. And by the looks of it, this whole set got side mirrors, which is definitely a bonus in my books, guys. Okay, next on the list is the Audi S4 Quattro. And this one we will crack it open. Looking forward to this one, guys. I thought the blue one from the last time was really, really nice. But this yellow one, guys, I, I don't know. I think this yellow one is just gorgeous. Love these rims, okay? I think these rims look awesome on this car. I love the yellow. I mean, in my books, I think this one might just beat out the blue one, guys. Just for the fact that I got the chrome rims. Front headlight detail, full detail, of course, because it's car culture. We have the sunroof, and we do have a metal base, rubber tires, riding on slicks. I mean, she's just gorgeous. And yeah, we have the side mirrors, guys. You see, I believe they're all, they all have them. What a beautiful car. This is a must, guys. This is a must. This set is just not going to disappoint, I'm telling you. Next, we have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And, wow. And this baby blue, guys. Wow, this is stunning, guys. This is stunning. There she is, guys. This baby blue looks nice. Look at all the detail on there, guys. Now, I don't know if the other Porsche releases that we have have the air vents in the back like that. And I don't know if the front is done the same as well. I think they've played with this casting a bit, guys, and I think they've improved it. Not that I really needed improving. The other versions were really nice. But this one, wow. This is just stunning. Sitting on these black five spokes. I mean, this car is just gorgeous, guys. Again, metal base. Slick tires. Full detail. Interior is done. Beautiful. Just a beautiful looking Porsche, guys. I'm telling you, this set is just not disappointing, guys. Okay, next. The 2012 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe. Black Series in red. This casting I've been waiting for, guys. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Mercedes, Porsche, Lambo, Ferrari. I'm a big fan of cars, guys. But honestly, I'm a big fan of Mercedes. And I've been waiting for this one to come out. This is just a beautiful and a beautiful introduction for this car. I'll be honest with you. That is just gorgeous. This is a very colorful set, guys. Honestly, baby blue, yellow, green, red. Just a very, very beautiful set. And the detail on this car is just unbelievable as well. These mags fit just perfectly and they all have side look at the black trim around the top there I mean this is just gorgeous guys again riding on slicks and that back end is just done so well Yeah, very impressed Hot Wheels, very impressed. Did a great job with this car. Just loving it. Okay, last but not least, we do have the AMG Mercedes C-Class DTM Touring Car. And as I said, this one does look like it's wrapped 
in the D2 deco. Can't be paint, guys. That would just be way too much paint. This has to be a wrap, guys. I mean, it just looks... Wow, that's incredible, guys. That's incredible. Okay. Here's the car, guys. Well, let me just actually show it to you, okay? Here. As you can see, if I zoom it in, it's got D2 phantomly done all over the car. And you can feel that there's a clear coat over top. So this is either a sticker or wrap underneath the clear. And it's just done amazingly. I mean, the car looks like it's a Zamac and it's been clear coated. So I believe the whole car has been clear coated over the tampos. Well, this one does have the full roll cage inside. Interior is just done beautifully. If I can zoom it in for you guys, you can see it has kind of like a two-tone interior, gray and a dark gray. I mean, this car is just really well done as well. Very beautiful set, guys. Very beautiful set. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's compare this Porsche, guys. I'm going to take this guy off. And again, guys, side mirrors. Loving it. I'm going to take this guy off. We're going to put the Porsche. I'm just going to compare it to any other premium Porsches that I have. Let me see what we have that's close enough to it. I don't think there's anything close enough to it, guys. I do believe that this is a brand new casting, guys, this Porsche. Because even to show you anything else, guys, to compare, we really cannot compare. I have the Forza Silver. Let me move the camera, guys, just to show you. Up top. Okay. There we are. I have the Forza Zamac right here. I have this one here from the... Uh, the uh, Forza set as well, I believe. Forza 4 or something like that. And neither one of them are the same Porsche. So this guy right here, I believe is a brand new and revamped casting that Hot Wheels did. And that Hot Wheels did beautifully. So this is a great addition, guys. And a beautiful set. Guys, till next time, be safe, be well, happy hunting, ciao.